everyone it's your girl trish welcome back to my channel for another video if you guys are new here to my channel welcome and if you guys are not new here to my channel welcome back um please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel liking the video and also hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified each and every time i upload a video and you guys do not want to be missing my videos because your girls got some good news for you guys i got some good news y'all ready y'all ready your girl is launching her own line, her own makeup line. Um, so I will be last launching my own lash line, my own uh, my own lip gloss line. Um, this is something that I've been planning and thinking about for the past five, six months since like since since the end of last year actually. Um, now prior to all of my research, prior to all the YouTube videos I done seen. Prior to me, prior to all the little businesses, all the businesses and stuff popping up on my Instagram, I did not know how saturated this business was. I did know, girls, some girls had like, girls had like their own like glitter, like their own glitter um, line and like lashes and stuff, but I didn't know how saturated it was until I started doing all of my research. Now, I do believe that God put this on my heart for me to do because as you guys know, I love makeup. I love everything makeup, everything beauty. Um, I always have on some nice lashes or whatever, but honestly, I love lashes. Lashes are one of my favorite things when it comes to makeup. I really don't like wearing doing makeup unless I have on lashes. Um, second to that will be lip gloss. I love, love, love a nice gloss. So I figured, you know, why not do lashes and lip gloss? Now, you guys also know that I work in the health field and I wanted something else um, going on for myself other than just my career. You know, we all have our career um but you know there's nothing wrong with having your side thing and why not for me you know i've i did freelance makeup for three years um i've been on youtube now for almost three years and when i first started uh, my youtube journey um the first if you guys go back the first half of my youtube videos were just makeup tutorials i love makeup y'all you guys so you know, I just figured it was only right for me to, you know, have my own line and stuff and to venture into having my own business. Um, you know, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm scared because I don't know how I'm going to do. But I'm also very excited because, you know, it's something that I've been really wanting to do. You know, I've been thinking about it a lot. I go to sleep thinking about it. I'm dreaming about it. I'm always writing something down and stuff. So, yeah. So, when I first came up with idea, um, I said that I wanted my, um, it took me forever to come up with a name because I'm really not good with names. At first, I came up with the Mint Factory. I didn't want, um, anything that was too common or anything anybody was going for, the lit lash this or that or whatever. So, I was just like, nah, I don't want to do, I don't want to do the Mink Factory because it has mink in it. I didn't want, I didn't want to have mink or lash in it. I wanted something that was more personal. So, I went with LXVE Beauty. As you guys know, my channel name is Trisha Love. If you go on my Instagram, my name is Love Trisha. My middle name is actually Love. So, instead of it being Love Beauty, I, I exchanged the O for the X and just decided to go with LXVE Beauty so that I can, you know, do, like, add on as much things as I want to add on to my line without having to change it, change it, change out the names, this and that, or whatever. So, LXVE Beauty matched me really well, and I decided to just stick with that. I will insert my logo somewhere here in the video so you guys can see what my video, my um, let my logo look like. I did create my logo myself. I'm a very hands-on person. If I, if I feel like if I can do something myself, I will do it myself. I don't mind investing my money into certain things, but when it comes to little like hands-on things, I will try my best to do it myself. If I can do it myself, I will do it myself, and I will figure out how to do it. So with that being said, I did create my own um logo. I'm in the process of making my own website i still have to take product pictures so my um website is still under construction um but i did go ahead and make my um inst my business instagram i will also include my business instagram somewhere here on the screen and i'll also put it down in the description box so you guys can go and check out my stuff um in this video i will be showing you guys all of my inventory and business essentials that I've gotten this far so this will be part one because I don't have everything I'm still missing my stuff from TKB I'm still waiting on my stuff from TKB which is like my um my pigments um my pigments for my lip gloss and just like the lip the lip liquid um pig with the lip like y'all I cannot talk my lip color is like the lip the liquid version um to, for my um my, my um 
lip glosses as well. I also don't have my squeeze tubes. I'm waiting on those. And I don't have my wholesale lashes. I'm waiting on all those things to get here. For my wholesale lashes, I did I did go through Alibaba. At first, I was looking at AliExpress, but I was just like, mm-mm. So, I went with Alibaba instead. And I, and I, um, I did sample out three. I sampled three vendors. And... Um, two was from Alibaba and the other one was US based and I'm pretty sure she gets her um, wholesale from you know from China so um, I did end up going with my um, my last vendor um, when you're you know when you're testing out lashes and stuff you want to try at least three to four vendors at least three just so that you you know you're trying out different different people just to see how their customer service is the type of lashes you're gonna get you know um, just different just different things seeing what they offer and stuff so with my vendor um she off they offered um packaging they put my logo on gonna put my logo on it for me and um their shipping is really decent as well when i did when i got my samples i got my samples within like three or four days and um so yeah i'm waiting on my um my uh, my wholesale i did order my wholesale lashes last week i think Wednesday or Thursday so I'm still waiting for those to come in so I'm pretty sure I'll get it between the end of this week and next week and so I'll make a part two to this video but the first things first um I got my my journals here that I've been writing all my stuff in this was my first one it started to get a little raggedy with all my pages and stuff so I got this one I will be keeping this one um too as well just to like kind of look back and to refer to certain things but yes these are my uh, my journals that I got and I got both of these I think from DB's discounts um, we're gonna hop into my stuff that I got from Dollar Tree first. <sighs> I will show you guys my samples, but I don't, um, I don't really have everything in this packaging because I've been sampling out my lash. Um, I've been trying them on and wearing them and stuff. And these are one of my pairs that I got. It's really, really nice. I really like this one. For my lashes, um, I will have two different collections. I'll have my 5D and I'll have my, um, 3D, my 3D lashes because everybody don't like dramatic lashes so yeah so yes i'm gonna stop all my rambling and get into the um the stuff that i got so first things first is that i got um these two bowls here from dollar tree to be able to clean out my tubes and to sanitize them before i put my lip gloss in it i got these spatulas and these spoons to be mixing my stuff up i don't know what i want to use yeah i don't know if i want to use these or my plastic spoons that i got um, I got these little measuring spoons in order for me to measure out my oils and to, you know, jot down my little concoction so that it, my, um, my base can come out the same all the time. Um, I got these plastic bowls to, and to also be mixing up my lip glosses. I got these plastic spoons also to be, um, doing like my little mixes and stuff. I got these little jars like say if I you know if I'm like testing out my colors and stuff I will be putting them in here um I also got these little bowls right here to be storing like my like say if I make too much I can also always just store it and not waste lip gloss I'll just put them in here um what else do I get from the Dollar Tree I got the shredded paper as well for my packaging. So I got white and I got purple because my business colors are black, white, and purple. My favorite colors are black and purple and then for my accent color will be white. So I got these. I did get some more. They're, they're all laying around here somewhere. Um, I also got um, this little lipstick or lip gloss organizer to in order to, for me to be using for like photo props. And to also use to put like my lip glosses in and say if I want to use them to um, when I'm done like feeling like my lip glosses and stuff. And this is another one that I got um, for um, my lip gloss stuff. So I'll probably be using this one as my photo prop because I really like the one the way this one looks. This one actually stands up. It doesn't sit down. It stands up like this on the side. And it's um, diamond shaped. So it's really, really cute. And I got this from where I got this from. I got this from Home Goods. Home Goods. Um, and then I got this little cute little box right here from TJ Maxx. I'll be using this to store something in it. It's just really cute and it says inspired. Okay, so getting into all my other goodies. Um, I got my lip gloss base um, through Etsy and I got this through a vendor called um, um, Divine Sensation. And I found out about this um, vendor through, I think her name is Bob Red. 
Um, I've been watching a lot of her videos. There's a lot of girls on YouTube I've been watching a lot that I'm just that just inspired me a lot. Fire Red, um, made by Ari, um, made by Ari J, um, Bougie Barbie. It's so many different girls that I watch that I just get really inspired by. But um, you know, TKB, everybody's trying to trying to start their lip gloss business, and with the COVID nonsense going on, TKB, so they're raising their prices, or you know, they're going out of stock, or they're taking their own time to, you know, to stock up things or whatever so i got my stuff through um etsy and so this is the vendor that i went with these bags are the 12 ounce bags um they're a little small kind of like the, the, the size of my hand so i got i did get three more so i can have enough to make my glosses because i'm trying to do six different colors i was gonna do like get like pre-made glosses but i was just like now nah, i'm not gonna do that because there's certain colors that i want with my glosses and i also got um her the um the, I went to that same vendor and I got their little um, lip mix here and it comes with four it's four different oils mixed into this and instead of me buying all these different bottles I just got this instead and it's a nice size bottle so I know it's gonna last me a good minute and I got my flavoring oils from get sucker so I got six different um scents um, t um flavors here so I got papaya mango margarita pina colada toasted marshmallow Creme brulee, which I really don't care for. I don't really like the creme brulee one. And then I got blue raspberry. So I got those. I don't know which ones I'm going to be using on my glosses just yet because, like I said, I will be doing six different colors. And then we're going to hop right into my Amazon stuff. So I got these labels here from Avery because I will be making my own lip gloss labels and I'll be making my own stickers to put on my packages um, to just to kind of personalize, personalize it just, um, just a little bit. So... For my lip gloss labels, I got the Avery 6520, which is the Glossy Clear Address Labels. And then I got the 186060, and these ones are matte clear. I don't know which ones I want to use just yet, but I do have both of them. And for my stickers, I got the 22807, and I picked this two of these up from Office Depot. Sorry about that, y'all. My boyfriend was calling me, per usual. He always calls me when I'm filming. Okay, so we're going to hop into my... Um, my Amazon stuff because I did get quite a stuff from Amazon. Just business essentials though. Um, so I got this label maker um, from Dymo. I heard a lot of good things about this. I'll be using this to label my lashes for like the styles and stuff. I have not came up for my <laughs> my lash names yet. I'm waiting till I get my wholesale order um, for me to um, name my lashes because I, you know, want to have everything laying in front of me before I name them. So that's why I got those. This is a shipping label that I got. It's another thing I've been seeing a lot of girls use a shipping label. Um, some people use a kitchen scale. I just got this one because I saw the most good reviews on this one. I got this 10 piece 60, mill 60 milliliter syringe. Um, and I got a lot so that I can you know, have some to use and I'm not having to reuse the same ones over and over and over again. So I got those. And then I got these pop heads. It's just 100 piece for my lip glosses to attach to the syringes. And then I got my good old coconut oil because I will have a clear gloss. And, you know, with clear glosses, you need, um, I, I wanted something that was clear. I didn't want to, like, have too much tint going on because when you use something that's not coconut oil, of course, there's going to be a slight tint. So I got coconut oil, and it's from Now Solutions, and it's pure fraction. And then I got these little um, mascaras spoolies to uh, our lash spoolies to be putting with my uh, my eyelashes so whenever somebody order eyelashes they will get a spoolie for free so um you guys have already said like my colors are black white and purple and so with the spoolies they're black and they're white so go really cute with my packaging these are my organza bags that i got and they're black and i um these are it's a hundred piece and they're five by seven and then I got the um, the poly mailers, and I just got a standard black poly mailer, and these are um, 200 pieces. This is a 200 piece set, and um, they're six by nine. So this is what they look like. And then I just got this um, these shipping labels. They're half sheet shipping labels. Um, they're still kind of packaged. I'll insert a picture somewhere so you guys can see what they look like on Amazon but yes I don't I didn't want to do like the whole cutting thing and take them down on the um, poly mailer so I just got the stickers I figured they'll kind of look a little bit more professional put together so that's why I got these and then like for my storage um, containers and stuff I will show you guys 
after somewhere in this um, video I will show you guys like the different um like my printer that I got because I bought me a printer um, it was for a hundred dollars at Target um I got real lucky because they didn't have no like they didn't have no uh, printers on display and the guy that was unloading the truck um he um well that was stocking he brought me that one from the back and it was brand new and it was a Canon one and it was wireless so it was a good deal so I got that camera and then I got like my little um my drawer organizer thing from um uh, Michaels and I got like another like kind of band drawer organizer things from the um dollar store and I'll show like I said I'll show you guys so you can see where I'll be putting all this stuff at okay y'all so I wanted to show you guys my little space um please excuse my dryer in the back I am doing laundry right now and it is kind of late so that's why I'm talking a little low because I'm getting tired um so this cart right here i actually got this is the cart that i'll see you guys that's telling you guys that i got from michael's um and it was 29.99 um 20 uh, michael's always has stuff on sale um i did get some um picture props from there as, as well but i'll show you guys in my part two of this video so yeah i got this from michael's 29.99 and they have it in other colors as well this table i already had so i just used it to put my printer on top of it the table I think it was really cheap. I had got this table when I first moved in my apartment from um, this thrift store, and I think it, it looks like an IKEA table. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume it's an IKEA table. But the can't the um the print I actually got from Target for a hundred dollars. It was a great deal because it was the only one that was left. There was no printers out, and it's wireless and it was new. So I bought it. I got my printer paper from Walmart. I got me some extra ink from Office Depot and target um so yeah and then i got this little cart this gray cart right here that you guys see i got this from dollar tree it was like i think it was like either 11 dollars or 12 dollars and this top piece this top one right here came with the drawers it was inside the drawer so that it came it came free pretty much so yeah so you can get any type of like storage thing anything that you that you find that you would like to store your stuff in so yeah this is what my little my little area looks like for now so yeah and um yeah so if you guys want to want me to continue to bring these entrepreneur videos i did like a little poll on my um business instagram page to see if anybody wanted me to do like the entrepreneur series since that's all i see on instagram on youtube and i figure it'll be like a way for me to market and promote my brand so yes um so stay tuned stay tuned and for part two so i'll be showing you guys my, all my stuff that I got from TKB, my tubes, and my wholesale lashes. And you guys don't want to miss my lashes because I got some real, real cute lashes. So like I said, I have 5D and 3D. And I have um, I have four of each um, style, like four of each um, type. So four 5D lashes and then four 3D lashes for like, so I can, I wanted to have different styles to suit everybody because not everybody like these super long dramatic lashes. So like I said, these are one of my lashes that I do have on. And like I said, you guys, um, I'm going to put my business name somewhere on the screen so you guys can check my page out and follow me, follow me, follow me because you guys do not want to miss my launch date. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel and liking the video. See you guys in my next one.